Well, as we continue our coverage of Hispanic Heritage Month, we are looking today at some forgotten history. Some of the first residents call Litchfield Park home, and you're going to be very interested about its past. Yes, yeah, so they were the migrant workers who helped the cotton industry boom in Arizona. Here's ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez with their story. No one can deny the West Valley is booming. But before the modern houses or businesses went up, Litchfield Park was filled with farmland. And some of the first people to call it home were migrant workers from Goodyear Farms. It was a community, it was, it was a barrio. Jose Antunes Leba was raised in Camp 52. It was one of five migrant camps that were set up in the 1920s for the Goodyear Farms cotton field workers in Litchfield Park. Everybody knew everybody. Everybody, okay, nobody locked their doors. The camps were built so families could tend to the booming cotton industry in Arizona. And according to historians, the efforts were led by Paul Litchfield, who after World War I was working with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. And he said, why don't we buy and lease our own land out here in Arizona and we'll grow our own cotton and we'll always have a, have a source for it. Hundreds of employees and their families lived in these camps. Archivist Judy Cook with the Litchfield Litchfield Park Historical Society says most, but not all, came from Mexico through the Immigration Act of 1917. They wanted to come up here because it was safer. The Mexican Revolution was going on and there were um, a lot of issues with the soldiers taking land. Leba remembers work was a family affair. Everyone worked in the fields. I remember my grandmother one time taking out about six or seven grandkids. He still has his grandfather's lamp they used when they would work at night. And he also remembers the harsh conditions they were forced to work through. I have a, a friend from uh, West Phoenix that her face is still pockmarked from the, the insecticide that was sprayed on the fields. I'm standing here at Goodyear Farms Historic Cemetery. It was established roughly 100 years ago when workers started dying as a result of the Spanish flu. And because of poor record keeping at the time, many of these graves remain unmarked. It's the place the Goodyear Farms workers were buried since the flu, and families from the camps are still laid to rest here. Both my parents are buried there. I have a Nino buried there. We just buried my aunt uh, a couple of weeks ago. By the 1980s, Goodyear Farms sold the land, and the migrants had to be moved. It was a sad day for them. There weren't many left in the camps, but there were all the memories. Goodyear Farms moved those who were left to small trailer-like homes in the West Valley. And now that the camps are gone, Jose's mission is to make sure those who tended the fields get the respect and recognition they deserve. I want people to know that these Mex largely Mexican-American or Mexican migrants who were imported here uh, are, are true Arizona pioneers, just like all the other pioneers that added to the development of the state. And we can't forget that history. For ABC 15 Arizona, I'm Allison Rodriguez. Great work by Allison, as always. Switching